Well, when it crossed the Philippines, it was uh, moving at around about 40 kilometers an hour, moving from east to west, as you can see quite clearly here. And in terms of its uh, category, well, it was an extremely powerful storm. It's uh, classed as a violent storm. It would be equivalent to a Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic. At the moment, the winds gusts at the, uh, on the northern edge of the eye are gusting to around about 250 kilometers an hour. It's weakened off a little bit. So to the south of that, well, the gusts are still pretty strong at around about 160 kilometers an hour. Now, so it is a very, very powerful storm, one of the uh, most powerful to make landfall that we have ever seen. Well, ACOT in southern Sudan has posted at facebook.com forward slash world have your say, saying, why do you think typhoons are always targeting the Philippines? Obviously, we've heard this is a typhoon prone area, but why is that? Well, the Western Pacific is a breeding ground for typhoons. This satellite sequence takes you back about five days, and this was a tropical depression or a tropical storm which crossed the Philippines, made its way towards Vietnam. And now this is a typhoon Hainan. And as you can see, it's on a very similar path to that uh, previous tropical storm. They breed out there in uh, the Western Pacific because the water is so warm, 26 degrees or more is what you need for uh, tropical storms to develop. And once they become a tropical storm, they may well develop further into uh, typhoons, which is uh, what we're seeing at the moment. And uh, we also need very light winds through the atmosphere, which means that uh, the whole storm can grow from a cluster of thunderstorms. So it's a breeding ground, and it happens every year. that The Philippines get hit by something like uh, 20 plus tropical storms every year, of which at least three, four, maybe seven turn into uh, typhoons. Uh, this year, no exception. In fact, uh, this year has been quite active, 24 storms in total so far. That includes a few typhoons. But uh, it, just in terms of the most active year ever, 1964, uh, we saw 39 tropical storms in this region, and I think about uh, seven of those turned into typhoons. So it happens pretty much every year. Well, Nana in Accra says, how severe is this typhoon? You've mentioned yourself this is one of the largest to hit land. But also, Nana asking, can this typhoon happen in other parts of the world? Well, yes, it is extremely powerful. Um, when it made landfall in uh, the Philippines, it really was at its peak. We saw some incredible gusts of wind up to around about uh, 378 kilometers an hour. And with winds of that uh, strength, well, widespread destruction. And now it is on its way towards Vietnam. So, yes, uh, it can and it will affect uh, other countries. But that's not unusual because these typhoons can, in fact, uh, affect uh, Japan as well, parts of China, so uh, it's not unusual for these uh, to affect many countries before they die out. And one final question here from Kefa in Kasumu in Ghana. What's the difference between a typhoon and a hurricane? Not much, really. They're exactly the same uh, thing. They grow in the same uh, similar, uh, same, they grow in the same fashion. They are exactly the same, to be honest. It's just a matter of where they form, which is uh, how they are named. Uh, typhoons occur in the Pacific region, hurricanes occur in North America, and cyclones occur, occur in uh, India and in Australasia. And indeed, in the northwest of Australasia, that's where we've seen the most powerful uh, cyclone, ty typhoon, hurricane. Uh, it's, that's where we saw the strongest gust ever, and that gust uh, was in excess of 400 kilometers an hour. So uh, they're all the same. It's just a matter of where they form, and that's how they get their name.